So good morning, it's a good morning family, um, greetings, um, it's a Tuesday morning, uh, we are truly blessed to be here, we thank you for connecting, I see we already have people joining in, um, as you come in please do let us know who you are, do let us know where you are connecting from. We are about to begin in a word of prayer. Uh, it's day two of 30, um, 28 to go. We are excited about what God is doing. Hallelujah. Welcome to everyone that is joining us. Welcome, welcome. Uh, we bless the Lord. We are about to open in a word of prayer right now. Maybe we should do that. Eh? Then I will acknowledge you. Father, we worship you. Father, we bless you. Father, we exalt your holy name. Your name is high. Your name is lifted up. Your name is great. There's no God like you. There's no one that compares to you. No one can take your place. Father, we join the angels. We declare you are holy. We declare you are holy, majestic Father. No one compares to you. <laughs> no one comes close to you. Eternity past to eternity future. Oh God, none matches you, oh God. So as we pray, we are praying to a living God. We are praying to a great God. We are praying to a magnificent God. We are praying to the ancient of ages. We are praying to the rock of ages. Father, we love to worship you. We love to bless your name. Father, we know that when we lift you up, you draw man unto yourself. And that's what we are doing this morning. We lift you up. We lift you up in our hearts, oh God. We lift you up in our lives. We give you a place of prominence, oh God. For you seated on a throne that is high and lifted up. And as we come into your presence, we bring praises, we bring worship. We bring thanksgiving. We bring adoration. Lord Almighty God, we hold nothing back. We hold nothing back, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So we worship you. We bless you. We honor you. We exalt you. I pray for everyone that is connecting this morning. Lord Almighty God, I pray for renewal of strength. I pray, Lord, for a charging. I pray, Lord, for an inspiration and encouragement. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bless you, Lord. We honor you, your majesty. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, greetings to your family. Uh, we thank the Lord. Today is day number two. Today is day number two of 30 and we are excited, um, we are encouraged, we are, you know, on fire for God, hallelujah, I mean, it's day two, but something is already happening, let me acknowledge you, and then we're going to, uh, Mel, good morning, thank you for connecting, Sis Pogazi Kakeni, good morning, Sis Mampo, good morning, Dando, good morning, Sis Mangmaiba, good morning, Mem Clemencia Punyuka, good morning. Sustendi, good morning. Mama Kiwani, Sabulisa. Mama Babra Makuba, good morning. Sister Meba and Dabini, good morning. 
mama mbane siyabulisa mama u mandla kazi jama siyabulisa mama mem susan tracy dumela me she's from botswana so we have botswana and we have um, Zimbabwe with us. Good morning, family. Mamum Zilikazi is also connected. Good morning, Mama Kuvaro from Zimbabwe. She's with us. Good morning, Mama. Um, Uremi uh, Mauchana. Good morning. Um, Seb Brighton. Uh, Makubaro. Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning, sir. Greetings to you. Um, family, um, greetings to you. We, we bless the Lord. Um, our God is faithful. Our God is, you know, um, a loving Father. We thank Him for waking us up. So I want us to jump in. We've got quite a few prayer points to pray. Um, now, Isaiah 55 is 1. I just want to remind us of the invitation. Uh, God sends out an invitation to everyone that is thirsty. That's the condition. The, the invitation is to the thirsty and to the power, the poor. It says, um, come, all of you that are thirsty, come to the waters. Uh, you who have no money, uh, come and buy. Um buy wine and milk um, for no price um, so what 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 um, we are emphasizing is that um, God is saying I have a banquet I have a feast but this one is for the hungry okay it's as if God is saying if you are full I can do nothing for you if you are full I can do nothing for you but if you are hungry not, 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 not for this or that, but for God. If you are hungry for God, then God says, come, because I will fill you. I will fill you with fatness. I will fill you. Um, I'll fill you with delicious stuff. I will quench your thirst, and I will fill your hunger. Amen. So, so this morning, I want you to come with that attitude, the attitude that says, I am hungry. Uh, attitude that says, I'm hungry. Um, I'm hungry for God. I need more of God. I need more of his presence. I need his touch. I need him in my life. Amen. That should be your attitude this morning. We've been to church. We have met people. We have tried things. But this time around, we're saying we want God. Hallelujah. We want God. So uh, the theme for today is send your rain. Send your rain. Yesterday, uh, we were praying uh, for God to fill our thirst. Uh, but today we're saying, ascend your rain. Hallelujah. So if you can turn to Genesis chapter 49, Genesis 49 verse 25, Genesis 49 verse 25, hallelujah. The contemporary English version, it says, your help, now this is the prophecy over the life of um, Joseph, um, it says, your help came from the God your father worshipped. Amen. That, that, that's a powerful statement there. You know, to know where your help comes from. The psalmist says, my help comes from the Lord. So, so, so it says here, your help came from the God your father worshipped, from the all-powerful God. We know that U Joseph was greatly helped. Okay, he was greatly helped. If you look at the story of Joseph, you would understand that he was greatly helped. You see, uh, we need to understand that we are here today because we were helped. We are, we have come this far because we we were helped. So so our help comes from the Lord. Hallelujah. Genesis forty nine verse twenty five. Genesis forty nine verse forty five. Verse 25, sorry, Genesis 49, verse 25. Your help came from the God your father worshipped, from God all-powerful. God will bless you with rain. Listen to this. God will bless you with rain and streams from the earth. You see, when God created in Genesis chapter 1, 
on day three, when you separated the waters, you know, day two rather, waters above from the waters below. So I want you to see here, the Bible says he will bless you with the rain. Rain comes from above and streams come from below. So God is promising to bless you with rain from above and streams from below, okay? Uh, I'm going to explain it right now. But 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 there's there's blessing that the Lord is promising. It says he will bless you with many descendants. In other words, you will be fruitful. So other versions of the Bible, when you read the same scripture, they use the word blessing of heaven for rain. So when the Bible says God will bless you with rain, it, in other versions it says he will bless you with the blessing of heaven. He will, God will bless you with the blessing of heaven, with the blessing from above. So, so, so rain signifies the blessing of God. Amen. The blessing of God. It makes the ground. It makes your land. It makes you fruitful and it's responsible for harvest. Hallelujah. So, so I want you to see this as we pray. So when the Bible says God will bless you with rain, it says God will bless you with the blessing from above. So there's a blessing from above and there's a blessing from beneath. Okay. And this blessing will make you fruitful. So I want you to pray right now for the blessing of heaven to come over your life and family. The blessing, declare that the dry season has come to an end. The blessing of heaven, the blessing from above upon you, upon your family. Hallelujah. Let us pray right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are praying right now. According to Genesis 49, verse 25, Lord Almighty God, we embrace this promise, Lord Almighty God, that the blessing of heaven, the blessing from above, the blessing of rain comes upon us, Lord Almighty God. When rain comes, it comes in abundance. When rain comes, it waters everything every part of the field. I thank you right now that when the rain comes, every part of my field, every part of my life, my family, Lord Almighty God, is blessed in the name of Jesus. And the dryness, Lord Almighty God, is coming to an end. Lord Almighty God, and the deadness that has been there, Lord Almighty God, is coming to an end. For Lord Almighty God, rain brings life. Rain brings fruitfulness. Rain brings, Lord Almighty God, growth. And right now we thank you for rain. Send your rain. Lord, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus, your rain of blessing. Father, we pray, let it rain on us once again. Father God, we're not asking for a tap blessing. we asking for a rain of blessing. Oh God, not the blessing that we need to take a bucket, but Lord, I thank you that our land will be drenched in blessings. <laughs> our lives will be drenched in blessings in the name of Jesus. Mambere masatanamasu, mambre sondo, families drenched in blessing. Eka meni lika yesu, sinkumpankumpe kenkosi, kwizi busiso, nentikelelo Zako, eka meni lika yesu, kupe lukoma, eka meni lika yesu, si shale nko si kwinda we luchaza, si shale nko si kwinda we sikelele kleo intapose itu. Father God, we have seen how Lord Almighty God, the enemy has brought dryness, Lord Almighty God, in the season. But we thank you, Lord, that the dryness is over in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mashallah, ba, ba, ba. Father God, I want you to pray right now that the rain will bring life oh, in parched lands, you know, and bring great harvest in your life where there's dryness. Apokuko isomi sokona, kubeko imvula eyanayo, kuchinji nda ube says chile zibumvu, zibel shaza, genya yemvula I want you to pray right now that the rain of God will come over your land and patch over your patch land and a great harvest, you know, 
your great a great harvest in your life will come. We are praying. You see, you see, a rain precedes harvest. Rain precedes harvest. So when rain comes, patch lands, they, they come to life again. You know, amazelo besele chile, imisa inti mi besezi chile. You know, ziabuya zipile kwakona. Come on, let us pray right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are praying. Mambo repatch lands, Lord, dry lands, Lord Almighty God, are coming to life again. In the mighty name of Jesus, people, Lord, that have been without employment, people, Lord Almighty God, that have lost much, Lord, people that have seen their properties repossessed, Lord Almighty God, people, Lord Almighty God, who've seen their vehicles stuck, not moving, Lord Almighty God, people, Lord Almighty God, who are just in a season of loss. I thank you that they are entering a season of rain and Lord patched land. Things that have been drying up, things that were being deadened, Lord are coming to life again in the name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you that your children are entering into a season of harvest. Lord, there's a revival. There's a revival. Things that were dead are coming to life. We speak a revival. We speak an economic revival. We speak a spiritual revival. People that could not pray. People that could not tarry, Lord. Are we beginning to tarry in prayer? Are beginning to tarry in the word? Are beginning to tarry before God? In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For the reign of God is coming. The dryness is over. There's life again. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mandira Masu, Mambore Manga, people, Lord, that have not been having income, Lord Almighty God, they have been losing properties, they have been losing things, we make intercession for them, we release an economic rain, open doors, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we release finances, oh God, even those who had their finances held up, we release them now, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, let your rain fall. Let your rain fall. Let your rain fall. Father, send your rain. Mambo Mangalambrasto over our patch land and the dryness in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen to this. Jeremiah 14 verse 22. Jeremiah 14 verse 22. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 14, 22. It says, idols, listen to this, idols can't send rain. I'm still reading from the contemporary English version. Idols can't send rain. And showers don't fall by themselves. Only you, speaking to God, only you control the rain. So we put our trust in you. The Lord, our God. Idols, listen to this. Idols can't send rain. Showers don't fall by themselves. Only you control the rain. What does that mean? True blessing comes from God. Real blessing comes from God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Father, right now, we declare that we trust you. Our trust is in you, oh God. We, we, put, our, we, 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 tr- we put our hope in no one else but you. It is you that sends rain. Idols cannot send rain. Idols cannot send rain. Lord Almighty God, rain comes from you. So we thank you this morning in the name of Jesus that we can look up unto you and call up unto you and ask from you for rain and you send us rain in the name of Jesus. We don't put our trust on anything, Lord, else except you. You alone, oh God can send rain. 
Mashalamang, you alone can send rain. You alone can send rain. So we ask you now, send us rain. Send us rain. Father, send your rain. Send your rain. For when your rain comes, every dead things come to life. When your rain come, patch lands become pasture lands. Oh God, send your your rain, Lord Almighty God, when there is no rain, our land dies, our cattle dies. Oh God, when 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 there's no rain, our rivers dry. We we die of thirst. But when you send your rain, rivers flow. Lands become green. Lord Almighty God, trees bear fruit. Send your rain. Say, you're the only one that can do it. Father, we cannot do it. Lord Almighty God, we are dry without your rain. Send your rain, O oh God. Mashak, ask him to send rain over your life. We need rain, beloved. You see, beloved, you can do much. You can do something with water from a tap, but you cannot do much. You cannot. You see, rain fills the rivers. Rain fills the rivers. You see, you see, beloved. When there's no rain, the rivers go dry. Hallelujah. But when there's rain, rivers begin to flow again, and we begin to see the aquatic life. Fishes come to life again. All all the life of the waters come back. You see lands, they become green again. Trees begin to, 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 to bear, you know, leaves and fruit. And, and I want you to see that as an analogy of your life. That you see when the rain comes, you know, it brings life. Rain brings life. As it rains over your life, as it rains over your family, life is coming. So I want you to tell God that I trust you for rain. Say, God, I trust you. Say, God. God, I trust you. Send your rain. Mashakala brasto kumanga. We trust you, Lord. Hallelujah. Send your rain. Send your rain. Now, I want us to read quickly uh, from the book of Job, chapter 38. Job, chapter 38. Uh, we're going to read verses 25 to verses 28. Job 38, verse 25 to 28. I want you to see this. Mashallah, ba, 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 ba. It says, who, I'm still reading the contemporary English version. I will tell you when I change the version. Hallelujah. Job 38, verse 25 to 28. Listen to this. Who carves out a path for the thunderstorm? <laughs> who carves out a path for the thunderstorm? Who sends torrents of rain? <laughs> On empty deserts where no one lives. Rain that changes barren land to meadows with green grass. Who is the father of the dew and of the rain? I want to read it again. Who carves out a path for the thunderstorm? When we say there's a thunderstorm, who, who carved out a path for the thunderstorm? Who sends torrents of rain? Who sends rain? Where does rain come from? On empty deserts. Maybe, maybe you feel like an empty desert today. Maybe you're saying my life, my family is like an empty desert today. <coughs> the question is, who sends it? Who sends rain to an empty desert? Rain that changes barren land to meadows green with grass. Who is the father of dew and the rain? Now listen to this. Rain has the ability to transform a barren land into green pasture land. So we're going to pray that God sends rain. Not just rain, but torrents of rain over our desert. Say, God, send rain over my desert. So I want you to picture a dry and thirsty land receiving showers from above. That's the promise of God over your life. He says, I'm going to shower your life. 
You see, you see, dryness is not your portion. You, 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 you must not settle for dryness. God is able to send rain. Remember the story of Elijah in First Kings chapter 18. It did not rain for three and a half years. You see, you can get used to that. You can get used to that. But God says, no, I'm able to change things. So as Elijah prayed, and the Bible says he prayed earnestly, and it rained again. I want to tell you right now, as you pray earnestly, as you seek the Lord with all your heart, you're going to see torrents of rain in your life. Your desert land, your parched, your parched land will become pasture land. You see, you see, you, it will become green again. It, it, life will come over your land again. So, Father, we pray, send us rain. Send rain over our desert. Lord, let, let, let the dry land, let the parched land, let the desert land, oh God, become green pasture land. Let it become green meadows, Lord, of grass, filled with grass. My God, in the name of Jesus. Mambrostole manga. Mimbare satatata. Membashu tatatata. Membrostole basakata. Mimbrostoko manga. Isha tatata. Membore bra. Stokomanga, Mashika Taraba Baba, Erra Mangala Baba Baba, Isha Manga Rebroko Manga, Mambore Basataraba, Membore Brasondo Romanga, Isha Manga Rebrosto. My God, I thank you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now, listen to this, listen to this. Sorry for cutting you in prayer, but you need to get this. You see, maybe you're reading that thing, you're saying, but what's the significance? I mean, it's just grass. I want you to understand that grass is important in the food chain. Grass is important in the food chain. You don't eat grass, but the stuff that you eat eats grass. <laughs> let me say that again. You don't, you see, let, let me explain this because I'm going to read scriptures that speak to this. When the Bible talks about livestock, in those days, livestock was the investment was the investment of the farmer, okay? Um, it was the investment of the farmer. <sighs> so, so when we talk about, you know, green grass, we're talking about what feeds your investment. We're talking about the growth of your investment. <laughs> so when the Bible talks about barren land, uh, turning to meadows with green grass, we are saying that that your investment, your investment is in the right. You know, you, you you have invested in the right things. Why? Because your investment is going to grow. Your investment is going to multiply. In what in, in whatever you are investing in, you're going to see growth. You're going to see increase. You're going to see multiplication. That's the significance of grass. You see, beloved, there's grass. And then the animals you own, your investment, eat grass and you eat the investment. Hallelujah. So it's a food chain. You, you eat the investment, but your investment feeds on grass. So when the Bible says the rain will change your barren land to meadows with green grass, it says your investment is going to grow. You're going to see increase. You're going to see multiplication. You're going to see abundance. You're going to see growth. So Father, we pray that you turn our dry land into green pastures. You see, you you see, a farmer gets excited when it rains. Why? Because he knows that growth, grass is going to grow. And green grass means good, it's good news for the livestock. And when the livestock is good, it means that the farmer's wealth is increasing. So grass speaks to your wealth. Grass speaks to your investment. Grass speaks to your growth. In other words, you see, you see your work, you know, your, your investment, you know, what, what, what what you are trading in is, is beginning to flourish. Why? Because that green grass. That's why we talk about greener pastures. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's take another prayer point. I'm getting excited right now. Uh, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 23. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 23. <clears throat> Isaiah 30, verse 23. I'm still reading the contemporary English version. So I want you to understand that your investment is growing. 
Yes, your investment. But but I don't have... No, I'm not just talking about money here. I'm talking about the discipline you are investing in your children. I'm talking about the investment you are making to, in your family. I mean, in every area of life, your investment is growing up and it's going to show dividends. Hallelujah. Mashaba, ba, 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 ba. Now, listen to Isaiah chapter 30, verse 23. Uh, you see, when there's no rain, your livestock dies. You lose. Amen. Your livestock dies. Things die because, because there's no rain. Amen. So, but, but, but this time around, I want you to understand. Rain is coming and livestock is going to boom. Now, let's go. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 23. Uh, the Lord will send rain with water. Which uh, Sorry, let me read again. The Lord will send rain to water the seeds you have planted. Your fields will produce more crops than you need. And your cattle will graze in open pastures. <laughs> now listen to this. Now listen to this. The Lord will send rain to water the seeds you have planted. Have, have, you, planted, have you planted seeds on the ground? Have you invested something? That's what we're talking about. Seeds on the ground. That's investment. Hallelujah. Have you invested something? I'm not talking about money. This includes money, but it's not limited to money. Have you invested something? Seeds are going to grow. Your field will produce more crops than you need. We're talking about abundance. We're talking about multiplication. We're talking about, you know, God, you know, lavishing you with blessing. We're talking about God lavishing you with increase and multiplication. You know, extravagant, extravagant blessing. That's what we're talking about here. That's what rain does. You see, rain will cause your seed to germinate and bear crop. Now listen to this part. More than you need. More than you need. So, Father, send us rain to water our seed, the seed that we have planted in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I declare in the glorious name of Jesus that we will have more crop than we need. We will walk in abundance. We will walk in increase. We will walk in multiplication. Send your rain. Send your rain, O oh God, and water our seed. Father, I thank you that we will not plant seeds only for the scorching sun to burn it. Lord, only for the dry land, Lord Almighty God, to, 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 to dry it and choke it to death. Father, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that we will have more. We will have more than we need in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mashatala bababa. Mambore braka manga. Arababa. If you can pray in tongues right now, it's good time to do that. Mashikala brasto komanga. Mambresto kore basa. Mambore basa kata. Mishoko toro brasa kata. Mambore rababa. Arrebaba baba. Arrebaba baba. Mimbore bakasaka. Mambore baba baba. Mambore brasa. Mambrosto kore. Mambreste kere. Mashoko toto to. Ma rebosho komanga. Mashikatara brasto kumanga, mishokotoro branga. We ask for rain. We ask for rain. We ask for rain. Mambore braka manga, ora manga rebrosondo. That our leaves will not dry. That will produce, Lord Almighty God, fruit in the right season. Abundant fruit, more than we need. That will be able to share with others. That will be able to distribute. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Let's, let's take one more. Hallelujah. Let's take one more. I want us to take uh, the book of Deuteronomy. Uh, Deuteronomy uh, chapter. Uh, I want us to take Deuteronomy. Um, just one second. Oh, shalababa baba baba. brosto komanga. Shembore braka manga. Deuteronomy chapter 11. Deuteronomy chapter 11. We're going to read verses 11 to verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse um, 11 to 15. Listen to what it says. But the land <clears throat> that you are going over, sorry. <clears throat> 
But the land that you are going over to possess is a land of hills and valleys, which drinks water by the rain from heaven. A land that the Lord your God cares for. <laughs> the eyes of the Lord your God are always upon it. From the beginning of the year to the end of the year. What a promise. What a promise. Verse 13. And if you will indeed obey my commandments that I command you today to love the Lord your God and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul, he will give you rain, the rain for your land in its season. The early rain and the latter rain that you may gather in your, gather in your grain and your wine and your oil. And he will give grass in your fields for your livestock and you shall eat and be full. Hallelujah. Now I want us to pray this. I'm almost out of time. But I want you to know this. God cares for you and all that belongs to you. God cares. <laughs> if you did not hear anything, I want you to understand that this morning. God cares. He's always looking upon you and all that belongs to you. From the beginning of the year to the end of the year. What a promise. What a promise. From the beginning of the year to the end of the year, God is watching over you and is saying to you, I care. So I want us to thank God for an all year grace. <laughs> all year grace. Evergreen. All year grace. Father, we thank you for an all year grace in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That Lord, throughout the year, Lord Almighty God, you care for us, you provide for us, you protect us, you attend to us throughout the year, oh God. There's no day where you leave us on our own. Your eyes are continually on us, you watch over us, and I pray, Father God, and Lord, in the name of Jesus, for the seasonal rain that will ensure harvest at the right time, the seasonal rain that will fill our rivers so that we may have water throughout the year. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you for an all-year blessing, all-year care, all-year provision. In the name of Jesus Christ, that there will be no season where, Lord, we are gasping, Lord Almighty God, and we are running out because you have provided. When, Lord Almighty God, it's not raining, the rivers are flowing because you have made sure that we have all-year provision. Vision. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. So I want, I want you to declare right now that your fields will be covered in grass and your livestock will eat and be full. You see, uh, uh, you and your livestock will eat and be full. Do you know what that means? It means your investment will grow and you will be enjoying the dividends. Your, in your investment is going to grow and you're going to enjoy the dividends. Father, I thank you that in everything we enjoy, everything we put our hands on, Lord, you will bless the work of our hands and we will eat the fruit of our labor. And I thank you, Father, that it shall not be a little, that, Father God, it shall be more than enough. It shall be abundance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So we bless you and we honor you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Beloved, I want to thank you for connecting right now. Time goes very fast. Um, we did not do all the prayer points in this section, but I'm just trying to take us through them and, uh, you know, and help you to use them. And I, I want to I want to challenge you and to say if you're not part of the prayer group, if you're not part of the prayer group, please join the prayer group so that you may receive, you know, um, so that you may receive the prayer points. It's very important. Otherwise, it's not even prayer points, it's prayer promptings. It's things to guide you, to help you. So I'm saying, therefore, if the Lord impresses you to pray about something else, please do pray about it. We're not, you know, saying this is what you pray about, but it's just a prompting to guide you, to, 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 to kind of, you know, uh, lead you. Yeah, that's the word, to guide you. So, so I want to thank you for connecting. Uh, God bless you. 
let's meet again tonight. We are having a prayer meeting. Um, so those who can, uh, by the way, I want I want to say this, and I want it to be if if you if you are from GNCC, if you are from GNCC, I want you to understand the importance of the Tuesday prayer meetings. So I want to challenge you right now to make an effort to go and attend in person. I want to challenge you to make an effort to attend in person tonight at six to eight. Way of Life, uh, number one, Joe Modisa Crescent, uh, Emma Kaya, a Kaya Licha. You don't want to miss it. We're doing what we call prophetic activation, so you don't want to miss it. We're talking about the authority of a believer, so you want to be there tonight. Amen. God bless you. Let's meet again um, um, later tonight. Um, otherwise, uh, let's meet tomorrow morning at 5.30. Until then, God bless you. Bye-bye.